You know, I've met a lot of psychos during my career, but none of them compared to the nutcase you're about to meet. This girl is crazy, and bear in mind that what you're going to see is real. It's one of the most dangerous escapes ever attempted in the history of magic. But for the record, the worst part about this was not getting buried by two tons of sand. It was listening to this girl's stupid puns. The hourglass, that's a good one! Steve, tell them all about it! Once an outstanding citizen who sold time pieces part-time, she used her spare time to become a small-time criminal, and now she's serving hard time. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the hourglass! Long time no see. I've been waiting for this moment, watching the clock, counting the seconds. I have just one thing to say. Your, Your time, time is, is up. up. You say that every time. But those are just spur of the moment threats. This time, I'm going to clean your box. Your puns are very cute, Hourglass. I guess they're just second nature to you. But we've only got so much time, so take your best shot. First, my henchmen are going to bind you in chains. These time-honored restraints have been provided by the Los Angeles Police Department. In fact, it seems like old times, since these are the very same chains they used on me when they brought me to the Hollywood Sanitarium. Boy, was I ticked off, forced to wear secondhand prison clothes. I spent months fighting my time and planning my revenge until this, my finest hour. Here's my challenge to you, lab man. Escape from these restraints if you can. No problem. What's the catch? You only have two minutes to escape. And to make sure you don't go into overtime, I have this, the hourglass of death! <laughs> two minutes and it's bye bye time. OK, but answer one question. What is this stupid hang up with time? Well, maybe this will turn back the clock. You! No, wait, time out! Time Lock out! Him. Time out! You see, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rudy's ex-girlfriend, and we broke up because he was always rushing me. Hurry up, we have to leave. We'll be late for the science symposium. <laughs> like the cure for cancer couldn't wait. He just didn't respect the fact that I needed more time to be glamorous than anyone else on the planet. I mean, what's more important, fulfilling commitments or looking good? <laughs> The hourglass is made from a single sheet of Lexan plastic. It's bulletproof, scratch resistant, and they're waterproof to a depth of 2,000 feet. And all of the best watch companies are using this stuff. By the way, that's not ordinary sand. It's quartz, accurate to one ten thousandth of a second. All the best watch companies are using that too. Remember, honey, two minutes. <laughs> Let's see if he can take a licking and keep on ticking. Start the clock, boys. <laughs> the moment of truth is almost upon us. Can Rudy Kobe survive the test of time? Or is he just a second-rate superhero who's going to have to settle to being second best to me? <laughs> I know I shouldn't tease you while you're having such a rough time. But seeing you like this is a laugh a minute. I guess relationships can be more rewarding the second time around. Almost there. You're getting your second win. Isn't it true how time flies when you're having fun? Uh-oh. Seems there's just 
a little time left to kill. You know, you once told me I should get my priorities straight or I should get out of your life. Well, I have a counter offer for you. You can take back everything you said about me not caring about anybody but myself, or you can become a fossil. <laughs> oh, don't write yourself into an answer. Take your time. <laughs> wonder what made you tick, but now I'm just tired of listening to you talk. I didn't throw you out because of your tardiness. You just don't know when to shut up. <laughs> if you're a good girl and don't cause trouble, maybe you'll get time off for good behavior. Why don't you come up and see me sometime? Your history. Okay, we'll be right back. And when we do, I can promise a good time will be had by all. Man, I gotta get the sand out of my shorts.